Well, I'm a part of Team T-Coil, uh, and currently uh, there's hundreds of thousands of patients who are waiting for a heart transplant. Uh, because of heart failure or some other heart condition that they're suffering from. However, there aren't enough hearts to go around, so one alternative uh, treatment method is for heart pump implants. Uh, these heart pumps, however, require wires to pass through the skin in order to power the devices and are really prone to infection. One local Houston company, Procerion, who has developed their own novel heart pump, has asked us to kind of create a system that can remove the need for those wires so we can wirelessly power and communicate with a heart pump, which will ultimately reduce any risk of infection and increase the patient's quality of life. We have our speed controller here, and then our motor is inside this too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a little bit of food coloring here, and you're gonna see it get sucked through and pop out on this side. And that's just to show the equivalent of blood going through your descending aorta. So you saw the fluid come in here and shoot out there, and that is the back pressure that will be placed to relieve the effort on your heart. That, that motor is being powered right now from an external power supply, but there's no actual wires between the external and the interior. We have a inductive coupling between two coils that is allowing this wireless power transfer. So this is a model of what our prototype will, what size the prototype would actually be when it's miniaturized and ready for implantation inside a human. And so this device is worn on the outside of the patient. And this coil right here is, um, the current is sent through this coil and using a magnetic coupling, it's able to transfer power from this external coil into this coil right here, which would be implanted just a centimeter underneath the skin right there. So in addition to power, like we're able to wirelessly communicate using radio frequency with this device. So what that means is that you're able to transmit really important safety information. So we've got an internal battery. The patient's obviously going to want to know if that battery's running low. Um, as I mentioned, we've got these coils that are transmitting power through them. If the coils become misaligned or something, you want a safety alert to know that. And so using these communications, we're able to do that. And another really nice feature is the clinician will actually be able to wirelessly change the speed of the motor in the pump. So basically, how much support the pump is giving the patient. So as they, the patient starts to heal, you can back off um, on how hard the device is working. It's a really like concrete application that you know that you actually are helping people. And so it makes the project and all the work you do really worth it.